Story. Give birth to a child. Then give birth to a father. Give birth to a grandchild. Then take care of the house. Then give birth to a grandfather. Once upon a time, there were Jop and Et, two people who became friends. Jop's family had enough to eat and drink, but Et was very poor and often had to rely on Jop for help. One day, in order to have capital, Ed insisted on borrowing ten pieces of silver from Jop and then sold the house and took his wife to another place to do business. Arriving at a market in the south, he and his wife turned to trading and lending for interest. He is very stingy and hard-working in everything. When he had a few lucky opportunities, he made a fortune and money poured in like water. In less than ten years, he and his wife became quite wealthy and had a big business in that area. Even though he did it, he deliberately forgot about his old friend and the amount of money he owed. Talking to Jop, since the day you left, you haven't received any news. Jop suspects that you've been plagued by poverty forever, so you're living a miserable life somewhere. Furthermore, because I owe a lot of money and have no way to repay it, you and your husband don't dare come over to visit or send any messages. Thinking like that, Jop loves you very much. One day, he brought a few pieces of silver with him to find it, hoping to meet his friend and help him escape his difficulties. Jop inquired for a long time before finding At's house. He was surprised and happy to see that his friend and his wife were not as poor and depraved as he thought, but instead had a tiled house with jackfruit trees, land with ponds, etc. He thought that his friend did not need him now. Help again. So before entering the house, he dug the ground and buried the money he was carrying at his friend's gate. At meeting you, on the outside he happily greeted you, but on the inside he was only thinking about the debt he owed to you. He was both embarrassed and regretful. Suddenly having to spend a large amount of money to pay off a debt from a long time ago made him feel sad. Thinking like that, he suddenly had the stomach to swallow the silver that his friend had advanced him as capital in the past. So at midnight, he woke his wife up and discussed it with her. With his wife's approval, he immediately did it. While Jop was sleeping soundly outside the house, both husband and wife sneaked up with a knife and stabbed him to death. Then he and his wife took Jop's body and secretly dug a hole to bury it under a back garden. Asterisk since then, at star fruit tree has naturally become greener and more lush than before. But strangely, that year there was only one very large fruit. The couple was a bit surprised but didn't care much. When the star fruit was ripe, At's wife picked it and ate it. And that year, At's wife became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Because he had no children, At was very happy to see the boy handsome and growing up quickly. But his child had a mute disability and could not speak at the age of seven, making the couple extremely worried and sad. At tried to find a doctor to run medicine, worship at the temple, but all were ineffective. One day At's wife was stirring rice for her child and complained to him. Oh my child. I hope my child grows up to study well so that his parents can open their eyes and face. Why don't you say anything and make me suffer? Suddenly the boy burst out saying, Mom, just invite an official here, he will make me speak. Then he stopped talking and said no more. In such a situation, At and his wife listened to their son bought gifts and invited the district official to come and see what happened. Respecting the couple's urgent invitation, 
The district official arranged a hammock and led a group of soldiers to follow him straight to At's house. The boy saw the official's face and could indeed speak. He called himself Jop and told everyone about his first love, how he lent money to At, how he brought money to look for his friend to help him, where he hid the money, how he was killed, etc. Listening to the sentence as the story goes, the district official ordered soldiers to dig up star fruit roots and dig them at At's gate. It turned out to be exactly as the boy said. Immediately, the officer detained At and his wife, waiting for the day of execution. All the remaining assets of the sinner were given to the boy. And, the boy, who was Jop reincarnated, then returned to Jop's house. When Jop left, my grandson was just born. He is now eight years old, one year older than me. That's why there is a saying. Giving birth to grandchildren keeps the house and then gives birth to grandparents. 1. Scripture This story is told in another place. There were two poor friends, Dong and Nam. Before they parted ways and went their separate ways to do business, they made an appointment that if one person was good, they would remember to help the other. Dong's business became richer and richer. He had a son who passed the exam and went to work at the government office. Children give birth to grandchildren, family happiness is second to none. One day, Dong suddenly remembered his old friend and asked someone to ask him. It turned out that Nam was living a difficult life. Dong then took three pieces of silver, wrapped it in a piece of cloth, put it in a pole, and pretended to be dressed in rags to come visit his friend. Leaving home, Dong pretended to forget the blow and left it at Nam's house. Seeing the heavy blow, Nam earned money, from there he had capital, and his business became more and more prosperous. When Dong saw that his friend was doing well, he pretended to be poor and came to visit. Nam was afraid that his friend would tell him about the beating, so he killed him, dragged him to the back of the garden, buried him, and planted a tree to make him disappear. Nam's wife gave birth to a son. Unlike baby Et in the story above, he cries all day long. And when he learned to speak, he always cursed his father and scolded his mother. No matter how much he coaxed him, he did not listen. When he grew up, he told his parents that if they wanted to avoid being scolded, they should take them to the Mandarin and be punished otherwise they would be in a lot of trouble with him. And just like the story above, when he met the Mandarin he denounced all the sins of his parents. When he returned to his old home, the nephew was thirty years old, too. Regarding the topic of wholeheartedly helping a friend with his capital but being betrayed by him, Nagian people also tell another story, with the same beginning but a different ending as follows. There were two friends in a different province, one rich and one poor. Just like the story above, the rich man lends 300 francs to the poor as capital. After three years of not seeing you come, the rich man suspected that you had lost your luck and did not dare to come to his house, so he held out three silver bars to help you if your business failed. When I arrived, I realized that your situation was not as I thought. As for the other person, when he saw his friend coming, he was afraid that he would collect his old debt, so he got drunk, killed him, buried him behind the porch, and then planted a kneeling tree there. Unexpectedly, the anemone tree grows exceptionally well, its flowers are as big as a hat. People were surprised and invited each other to come and see. The dead man's wife was looking for her husband at that time. She heard that strange flowers were also coming in to see. As soon as they arrived, 
the flowers suddenly withered, the tree fell, and the person forced them to sue the mandarin. The mandarin came back to investigate and found a human body and three silver bars. The wife cried and said my husband is here. Then he told the mandarin the whole story. The mandarins are bound behind bars to wait for the day of execution. 3. Regarding the image of a reincarnated grandfather giving birth to a grandchild, the book Lan Tri Keen Van Luke has the story Nguyen Kak Wan. In Min Village, Hung Yen, there was a man named Nguyen Kak Wan who got married and had a son named Kon. When he grew up, he was smart and studied very well. At the age of 20, he passed the exam. Honoring and returning in one day, the happiness of that family is indescribable. When Kohn was six years old, Nguyen Kak Wan died. Kak Wan was reincarnated by King Diem as the son of a miner in Duong Trak village. This baby was born unable to speak but knew everything about his previous life. One day at that time the child was six years old Duong Trak village built a communal house, intending to welcome the poor cone to the topping out ceremony. When the child's father announced to the village for people to bring flags and fans to welcome the poor man, suddenly the child can speak up. He told his father, Dad, go borrow a trap and a cashew mat to put in the middle of the house for me. The man follows his child's wishes to see what he intends to do. When Mr. Cohn passed the house, he was standing at the gate calling, Mr. Cohn come in here and I'll tell you. Cohn heard the insolent words and got angry when he entered the house and saw the boy sitting on the roof and loudly said, Ngh Cone. Do you know who I am? Wait, the devil appeared in it, replied, No, if your family has any bad karma, just say so. I'm Nguyen Kak Wan. Seeing that Cone didn't believe it, the child said, Please send someone to bring two bookcases here, I'll read them for you to see. When he brought the books, he read each book and each lesson carefully for Cohn to find out and point out which paragraphs to correct, which paragraphs to punctuate. What he taught his children in the past. Don't be surprised because only he and his father know that clearly. He then prostrated himself and apologized. Then after the topping out ceremony, Cohn took his father that is, the baby and the minor home to take care of him. Juan's wife was 70 years old at that time. Hearing the child claim to be her husband, the old lady definitely refused, but when she heard him tell stories that only her late husband and she knew, she accepted. Juan then ordered him to prepare a separate place to live and practice his writing with his grandson. At the age of 20, he passed the exam. Another story from China. In Duong Chao, there was a man named Tran who was a horse breeder. When he was 50 years old, he suddenly fell ill. He saw a man on a horse rush in and hit him with a stick. Then he climbed on the horse's back and pulled him away. He called out. Can't scream. Going all the way to Shaanxi, Ham Duong saw him throw himself into a room where a woman was giving birth. Suddenly, he suddenly became smaller, and then he was breastfed. Memories are weaker now. Gradually when I grew up, I learned that my father was a silk seller. One day my father gave my mother a piece of silk, saying it was precious silk. He was now six years old and took a look. Mother said, Dad's precious silk. What's so precious about that thing? Mom told Dad. Dad asked me. That person recounted his past life, including the names of his father, mother, etc. He also said, I have a son who is over 20 years old, 
Seeing that his parents didn't believe him, he said, Just go back to Jiangnam and find out. When my father and I took each other to Jiangnam, his son was already old and had a thick beard, but he, that is, father, was still a child. Many people did not believe his family's story. He clearly explained how much he owed, and only he knew where he buried the three hundred tails of gold. Dot. Only then did the family accept it. When saying goodbye, everyone cried. Ten years later, Tran grew up and took over his father's business. Go to Jiangnam again and ask about the old place. At this time the son died, leaving behind the grandchild. Tran's wife still lives poorly raising her grandchildren. Tran gave his wife 300 tails of gold for funeral expenses and retirement. When he left, he also bought wine and meat to make offerings at the old grave, for 1. According to Nguyen Van Nock, Ancient Tales of the South, A People, Volume 1, 2. According to Thuk Niep Dan Bao, 1923. 3. Vin and Village Declaration. 4. According to Tan Chi Comedy, Volume 7. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.